Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm out here in beautiful Preston, Idaho. I don't know if you can get a sense of that. You may be asking yourself, what are you doing way out there? Whatever I feel like I want to do, gosh. We're going to be visiting some of the filming locations from the movie Napoleon Dynamite, starting with this house here. You may recognize this, right? Well, this was the house that Napoleon Dynamite lived in with his brother, Skip. When they were filming the movie, there was a fence over here, and there's where their llama Tina was at over there. And if you remember that scene... Tina, eat your food! You have to very deliberately want to come here, because this is out in the middle of... It's not on your way to anything. It's about two hours north of Salt Lake City. I came in from Boise, Idaho, and it was a four-hour drive. There you go, there's the house, it's right there. It looks mostly the same, looks like they have a new door. I believe they let people go up there and take pictures, but I don't see anyone home, and I don't see any signs. Hey, watch this. Uh, uh, what the heck are you doing? Hey, how much you want to bet I could throw a football over the mountains? Yeah. Coach would have left me in fourth quarter, we would have won. We'd be state champions. That's also the porch right there. The infamous, your mom went to college. Your mom goes to college. That's gonna do it for the farmhouse. I'm gonna go check out some of the other locations. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to get to Pedro's house? Oh, it's that way? Thank you. Thanks so much, sir. Here we are at the next location. This is Pedro's house. This is a nice little neighborhood through here. Super wide roads. Unfortunately, I've shown up right when it's about to start raining. There's something I wanted to do here, though. Huh, I can't remember exactly. Got like three feet of air that time. I was talking to a local across the street, and she lived here when they were filming. She said they've planted that tree for the movie, and you can see how big it is now. It's pretty cool. Didn't pick the best day to come out here, but you know what? It was a bucket list item. I recreated the jump from Napoleon Dynamite right here in front of Pedro's house. At the moment, there's not a resident upstairs. She said somebody lives in the basement. I just noticed I broke my ramp. I spent $35 on this ramp. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we're gonna go to the next location. I'll see you guys there. Two blocks away from Pedro's house, this is the school they attended. And the funny thing is, the bike rack is still here. Look, my bike. My bike's pretty much a celebrity bike at this point. Dang. You got shocks, pigs, Bucky. You ever take it off any sweet jumps? Don't mind me, I'm just drawing a liger. This is the steps where that scene was filmed. It's pretty cool going to all these filming locations. This one, for the most part, looks exactly the same. It's making me kind of hungry. Good thing I brought some tots. You guys want to see my liger? My liger's named Larry. He's got a lot of magical powers. Tater tots. If you ain't checking out Napoleon Dynamite filming locations, then where the heck you at? I put some tater tots in my pocket just for that one little gag. And now look at this. I just can't stop pulling tater tot residue out of my, my pockets. It was worth it though. As I was filming here, I looked over and I saw someone else taking a picture of my bike. So somewhere out there on the internet, there's gonna be a picture of someone with my bike. My bike's a, pretty much a celebrity at this point. The school's all locked, and I've been trying to find a way around to see if those, those lockers are still painted the way they were in the movie. And as you can see here, see a little glimpse of the door, and sure enough, looks like they're painted the same color, same way they were in the movie. Very unique design. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I feel like a creep hanging around a high school filming stuff. The research I've done 
Apparently this is the location that was used for Rex Kwon Do. It looks nothing alike today. You don't really see much of the exterior in the movie except when they do that commercial. No self-defense system. After one week with me in my dojo, you'll be prepared to defend yourself with the strength of a grip. But here it is. I saw a few locations that were saying it's 900 North State Street, but if you look that up on the map, that's, that's in the middle of nowhere. The correct address is 12 and a half North State Street. And here it is, Rex Kwon Do. Heard you like a roundhouse kick to the face wearing one of those. Mark that one off the list, there's Rex Kwon Do, guys. Bye. Behind me is the location where they had the chicken job. The, uh, the old man was drinking the eggs. This is Wrightwood Egg Company. It's a business, it's a huge chicken operation. And they are closed right now, so there's not much to see here, but hey, I just wanted to document the fact that I went here just so you guys could get a glimpse of what it looks like, you know? I'm not gonna take the easy way out. There you have it. I'm gonna get back in my truck now because I'm getting soaked. This one took a little bit to track down, but this is the tetherball pole that was used in the last scene of the movie. He tells her that I caught you a delicious bass, and then they play a game of tetherball as the credits roll. You can tell this is the tetherball court because you can see the swing set in the background. You can catch a glimpse of these things as well. So this is it. The reason this was a little harder to find is this is actually at the elementary school, not at the high school. It's about a quarter of a mile away. As this is the end scene of the movie, this will also be the ending of this video. How fitting, right? It's been a lot of fun. And I have to say, making these YouTube videos is a learning experience for me because walking around and talking to a camera by yourself takes a bit of getting used to. There's no ball, so we'll just have to pretend. I won! Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to get out of here before I destroy my camera. I caught you a delicious bass.